thanks for clicking on our channel link if you're looking for solar light please watch this video entirely before selecting solar lights so on display here i have three main types of solar lights that you can use around your house to reduce your energy usage add security to your premises and also add some decoration in terms of lighting to your premises so we have the wall lights which are these right here and we have the solar street light and we have the solar floodlight but i will start off with the solar wall lights so the solar wall lights wall light mean that you can screw them against a wall easily in your garden or your patio your front yard the side of the yard just about anywhere that is dark that you need lighting or if you need security so these type the box here the box is actually a motion sensor light meaning that only when movement is detected it will come on and it will stay on for about 45 seconds then it will automatically turn off it comes with a panel the panel is attached to the light itself and there's a built-in battery that will be charged that will be charged through the solar panel the light must be installed where it can get adequate sunlight in order for the battery to be charged it also comes with a needle so this needle right here you will turn on the light the first time that you're going to use it you're going to install it you use the needle to turn on first the power button the power button is actually on the inside because it is a security light so nobody can go there and turn it on and off as they wish so when you use the needle to turn it on i'm going to cover the panel so you can see the lighting because it is daylight it will not come on automatically if it was night it will come on automatically so you can look to see when i cover the panel it will come on also this white area here this ball is the sensor that will detect any movement and it will automatic once movement is detected it will automatically turn on and it is this light is actually 400 lumens that's the brightness of it and we have the bigger size to it which is the 2000 lumens so it's basically four times brighter than the smaller one and it operates just the same we also have the 270 degree 270 degree mean that light will come from the sides and the front also has a sensor ball right here that will detect movement and this one also will stay on for about 45 seconds when movement is detected the power button however is at the back so you'd have to turn it on from the back before you install the light because you don't want to install the light and it's not turned on and you'd have to take it back down to turn it on so you put, first thing you're going to use it you press the power button at the back and it will automatically comes on it is actually 1640 lumens so it is super bright and the solar panel is attached to the top right here and the type of batteries that these solar lights use are the 1800 sorry about that 18650 that's the size battery that they use and they comes in 1200 mAh or 2000 mAh or 3200 mAh I've also seen them in 3500 mAh but I know for sure that these are 2000 mAh in this one so you get a long battery life I've been using the Baxia brand since 2017 that is almost four five years and i haven't changed the battery since but i've been using this since 2020 which, is, which should be two years and i haven't changed battery on these also it's basically the same 
type of battery and we also have in wall light the dust still dawn wall light so dust still dawn meaning that when it gets dark the light will automatically comes on and it will stay on till the next morning however with this one it has three modes so mode one it would be in a stay on mode so it will stay on as dust till dawn and then you have mode two which it will come on when it gets dark but any movement <laughs> i'd barely move my finger and it comes on and bright it will get super bright and you have mode three which is motion centered just like the two that i explained before it will only come on when movement is detected and it will stay on for about 45 seconds then it will turn off and any movement again it will automatically come on but for this one the power button is at the front so persons can go there and turn it on and off as they please depending on how high or how low you install these lights and this one is actually 468 LED so if you look at these LED going across and it's also 270 degrees so it will shine at the front and the sides and it is 468 LEDs and the panel is also built on the top and you need to ensure that this light is adequate sunlight in order for the battery inside to be charged and it's actually 1000 lumens that's the brightness of the light and if you look in the description below I have two videos that demonstrate the brightness of this light so please take some time out to watch those videos also if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe share this video and like this video I really appreciate it thank you and just to move on now to our solar street light so we have the 100 watt street light and in this box right here is the 300 watt street light which is way bigger but I will be demonstrating to you using the 100 watt street light so with the 100 watt street light looks like a street type shade like a street light it is not as heavy as the street light that you're accustomed to on the streets it is made from ABS material so it is more of a plastic housing so it's very thick but the lighting is just the same quality as opposed to using metal which is very heavy and this is the way that solar light are being built these days they are not really using metal to house the lighting because what is important is the led chips and the battery very important so for this one the power button is at the front press the button i'm going to cover it up cover the panel because it is day so it will be difficult to see the full effect of the brightness cover up the panel so you can see it on okay so the first time you're going to use this light you need to turn it on from the lamp itself after that you can use the remote to change the mode if you want to operate it for two hours four hours or six hours you can use the remote to do that if you want to set it for it to stay on and it will stay on all night you get about 48 hours with this light when i tested it inside the house for 48 hours it's, it lasted 48 hours before it died completely or you can put it on induction meaning that it will remain dim when somebody comes there it will get super bright and remain dim means that it will it's a dust till dawn so it will come on automatically when it gets dark but it will remain dim any form of movement it will get super bright also comes with a bracket so it's very easy to install you attach the bracket to it and you bolt it on onto the wall or onto the pole and we also have the floodlights All right, so the floodlights are also dust till dawn they will automatically turn on when it gets dark and it will automatically turn off in the morning so you also have a remote that you can use to control the floodlight 
turn it on so the flood light can be set to three hours five hours or eight hours to operate or you can also adjust the brightness it can also be set to auto automatically mean that when it gets dark it will automatically come on and in the morning it will automatically turn off and the charging process will start and it will automatically turn on in the night after it's been charged throughout the day so for the floodlight as opposed with the street light the panel is attached to the back of the street light it's an all-in-one street light but for the floodlight the panel is separated so this is the panel for the floodlight so you attach it so you attach it to the panel and that is how it is charged from the panel and the battery for the floodlight is also built in and you have to remember that solar light doesn't operate by itself because it is attached to a panel right so in order for it to operate in the night there must be a battery in the lamp itself like these right here that will store the energy for you to use at night that's how it operates and also the floodlight and the street light they come with bolts so you don't have to get these from the stores and you just bolt them up onto the wall or onto the pole I will post below videos that tells you further about the floodlight and I also have a video that I'm going to post below in the description that shows you the waterproof testing of the floodlight there are also videos at the end of this video that you can click on and watch to learn more about solar lights if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel like this video and share with other persons thank you so much for watching see you again in another video